right, we've got both of our blades cut. Now you want to make sure that when you put these together for the quad design, you don't have, you can just stick with one blade like the video that I had on YouTube, or you can have a more efficient blade with a, the quad design. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put these side by side because you want to make sure the blades are going the same way. If you put it like that, you're going to have a windmill that doesn't do anything. It just cancels itself out. So I'm going to take these and cross them up like that. It doesn't really matter which one's on top. We're gonna go like this. And then we're gonna take this quarter inch bolt right here. This bolt is uh, five inches long, so it's plenty thick enough. We're gonna push it through the back side. Place that on there. The washer on there like that, and we are going to add a wing nut to this. We're going to tighten it down. You want to snug it up as much as possible. Okay. You want to take your T-square ruler. You want to go up underneath and flush it up against the bottom board. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. So we've got it flushed here along this board, and then you kick this in so that these are nice and snug. And then you want to hand tighten this as much as possible, like that, okay? So now these are square to each other, so we've got a 90 degree angle there. That's exactly what we want. All right, the next step, you want to measure one inch out from this center line and mark it, one inch from the center line this way, and mark it. Do the same process over here. Over here. And what you're going to do is you're going to measure an inch in. So you're going to go here. And you're going to measure an inch in this way. Do the same thing over here. And there. Okay, so now we know that this is our mark, this is our mark. This is our mark, and this is our mark. Now we're going to pre-drill a small hole into each one of those. here as a two and a half inch deck screw. Now, I like these. These have a square head. I normally don't use those, but these have a nice little extra thread on the back that digs in really good. These are, um, these are great screws for this. Any two and a half inch screw will work. You can also drill a hole all the way through and run, run long bolts if you want to make sure it's extra tight. But I might be taking this apart, so I'm going to do a temporary. This is how your hub's gonna look. These are in pretty good. You can put additional screws on the back side. Just make sure you're like an inch and a quarter versus an inch. That's gonna lock it in both ways. Or you could run bolts through and fasten it down. I would advise against putting like an adhesive glue to hold this together just because if you ever wanted to take it apart to do some additional sanding and your shop's not big enough for the whole blade, eh, you're gonna have a heck of a time getting them apart because the glue really holds good.
that's what you got. Now, 